Hey guys, welcome back to Grim Productions, and in today's video, I will be making a prediction video on different animatronic characters I think we could see from Spirit Halloween for the 2023 season. So I did a video about this a few months ago, um, and now that we kind of know what like the theme is going to be for Spirit Halloween, aka some kind of cemetery theme, I kind of went back and I sort of rethought about the kind of props that I think we'll see, along with the fact that some sort of leaks have happened to where we have seen at least around three or four different animatronics and even some of their costumings. Um, so we will definitely... You you know be seeing these props in stores this year so i've kind of starting to make a little different prediction list on what i think they could be now so without further ado let's go ahead and get started on my predictions so a major i guess proper animatronic character that i think we could see is a bunch of grim reapers now i'm not really too sure how many they would make but i definitely do think with it being a cemetery and all we can definitely expect to see maybe around two to three grim reapers i know that's kind of a lot and you know most of the grim reapers are kind of like the same sort of character but i definitely think that we could see a lot of this specific kind of monster especially since a lot of people are speculating a jack the reaper animatronic to come out i think we can definitely see a uh animatronic of him which he is a grim reaper after all um but then i also think we could possibly see a just like an original character um as a grim reaper i don't know i just feel like they would fit really really well in the cemetery theme that's where they're usually associated with is a bunch of tombstones and cemeteries um and as long as they make them kind of unique and just not the cheesiest in the world then i'd be fine with a bunch of grim reapers because i love skeletons and stuff like that hence you know my channel name but uh yeah hopefully hopefully they do kind of make these different animatronics just because i feel like we see a lot of generic Grim Reapers, but not really any, like, unique ones. Um, however, they've been starting to try, I feel like, a bit more with these characters, so we'll see. These next two kind of fall underneath the same category, being phantoms and ghosts. Now, again, with it being a cemetery theme, I get Spirit Halloween doesn't really like to um, mix the themes in with the animatronic characters anymore, just so that way, you know, they can have more of an option of what to buy for the customers. Uh, but I do feel like they might try a little bit more this year with it. Um, and I feel like we can definitely see a bit more phantoms and ghosts. And this is kind of speculating more on the side of what they're returning this year. I do note that they're returning... Um, a creepy rising doll and even though that's not really like a phantom or a ghost it kind of has this sort of phantom look to it with the cloak on and everything like that so i can definitely see them making you know more animatronics like this for this year just so that way it, it could have some kind of ghostly feel to it now again i'm not really too sure if they are going to go this route just so that way it's not filled with a bunch of hooded cloaked figures i feel like that might be too many of them but perhaps it can go with something a bit more closer to w wraith where it's like just a ghost in some kind of like white or bluish sheet or something i also feel like they can possibly use some characters from like the haunted mansion or something i do know that they are making a lot more merchandise for that uh licensing this year um so it would be pretty cool if we can see some ghosts from there not only will it be ghosts so it'll fit in the cemetery theme but it'll also be a pretty cool and unique animatronic that we have yet to see from any other company so i don't know we'll have to see on this but i definitely think we can be expecting more phantoms and ghosts especially because these specific characters even though they're you know kind of classic uh halloween monsters we don't really see them that much especially like classic phantoms like um the hooded phantom from like 2020 we just don't see those that often anymore and i really hope that you know some companies will kind of make a bit more of them and yeah another animatronic i think we could see is a lot more zombies this year now again this follows along with the cemetery theme you'll start to notice that in this video that you know all of these predictions kind of relate to some kind of cemetery or funeral theme in some way um the reason why I think we can see zombies, and I actually have a little bit of proof to back this one up, is, of course, zombies, you know, they literally do go hand in hand with a cemetery. You know, zombies come from cemeteries mostly, um, and I just feel like it would make a lot of sense to put them in there to also kind of throw in a little bit of gore in there and some actual physical, I guess, humans versus just a bunch of ghosts and skeletons. I feel like zombies would be a good way to do that, and a main reason why I feel like we could see zombies is because for the past, you know, matter of years, it's been a really long time since we've seen Spirit make any zombies until last year when they came out with Bog Zombie, and he was a pretty well-received animatronic. So in my theory with Bog Zombie is that he was actually kind of a test animatronic for last year. Maybe he's trying, Spirit trying to see if zombies are still popular if they're still you know if they still grab attention um and i think they do you know i do think as long as they keep zombies original such as a smoldering zombie and bog zombie just stuff like that they will definitely gravitate uh, customers to buy them so i definitely do think that we could see and expect a lot more zombies this year maybe two or so um hopefully because we do need more zombies honestly they're really cool characters and we just don't see them that much 
Now, the final animatronic that I think we could see from Spirit Halloween this year is kind of a thing that they tend to do recently. Um, but, you know, I noticed it a lot more in the past, and I feel like just because of the theme for this year, they could really use this type of character a lot. And this is more of a gothic sort of style animatronic. I can definitely see them doing more gothic animatronics, such as um, Menacing Molly, which they did bring back. Of course, she was online only, but still, you know, that's a very gothic style kind of animatronic. Um, another example is uh, Demonic Dahlia that I have right here on the screen from 2019. She was kind of the last animatronic, I feel like, that sort of took on this very funeral-esque sort of look to her. Very, like, just, uh, what's the word, gothic funeral uh, style. And I do know that we did get the Widow last year, but she was online only, so that doesn't really count in some ways. However, I do feel like this year it would be really, really cool if they do incorporate some of these, like, more just gothic, dark clothing wearing characters into the themes, maybe with some like suits or dresses on or something like that. I do know that in one of the leaks, if you don't want to hear anything about it, just click off like right now and, or skip or something, I don't know. In one of the leaks, there was a little girl animatronic in some kind of black dress, very similar to Demonic Dahlia, and there was some guy in a suit, like a black suit with like a bag or something. Very, very interesting, but I can definitely see that being a big part of this year's theme. Anyways, these are my predictions for Spirit Halloween 2023. I definitely think we can see a lot more Reapers, probably some more Phantoms and Ghosts, Zombies especially, and more just gothic, funeral-esque type props. Please tell me down in the comments below, what are your opinions on this? If you would like to see more animatronics like this, um, and if you think it'll fit in with a theme or not, and just tell me down in the comments below, what do you think we'll see more of? I definitely think that Spirit might be backing down from the clowns, especially because this theme has nothing to do with clowns, and I really hope that they sort of, you know, kind of see that. Um, but yeah, anyways, just tell me what your opinions are down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.